Oh, excuse me. What's up, y'all? This is just gonna be raw. I done cut no intro and outro for this. But the reason why I'm doing this quick video is I just literally got back from doing a trip and just literally got back from doing a trip and down the road from what you just seen in the shot, sheriff deputies. When I first pulled up to where they were, right up the, just yards up the road from where I live, I thought it was a traffic stop with one, which I thought was a city cop at first. Now the city cops don't have jurisdiction over here on this side of the county. Um, it's, it's the sheriff deputies and state troopers. But um, as I get closer, then I see a bunch of other officers surrounding the house. And when you believe that this is the same house that I was telling y'all in one of the previous videos, just as a last, because it's now May 1st, but as of April, with the loud music. They just had some loud music here and there last weekend. Well, yeah, last weekend. But maybe for like an hour. They had a lot of people over and stuff. Now, earlier, maybe two, three hours ago, they didn't have that many people there. But I don't know if that was the case again or what. But all I'm saying is one of the sheriff deputies was in the middle of the road, blocking traffic. Well, that area of the road to be, um, you know, shut down or closed off or whatever to the, do the investigation of the disturbance, I guess. I don't know if that's the case, but more than likely it was. But when I, he told me I could proceed on. And uh, I told him, I said, well, I just live right over here down the street on the other side. And he was like, be careful of, and he said the term shells. What do you think I mean by shells? Yeah, you guessed it, bullets. I'm like, what? What do you mean, shells? And he's like, because it was a shootout that just occurred or not too long ago that took place. And I said, oh, I was like, oh, shh. You know, like, let me get on in here and get, you know what I mean? Like, that should be the last shootout of the night. But, again, I don't know. I didn't ask him why it tipped off like that. But, again, my hypothesis, my educated guess would be none other than the, the, the music being too loud. I don't know. And, like, it's the first time of maybe them being called on. By the sheriff's office or what? But like I told y'all, you all need to be very, very careful who you neighboring yourselves with. Even, and I told y'all about the, like I said, the other two stories of, uh, of the, the of families in the apartments. I mean, the unit above us, right? And over here, two yards down from us, they had some music, loud music playing, maybe for forty-five minutes. The other night and shut it off. But I'm saying you and Scooby Doo keeps saying this too for for the truck drivers that follow his channel. You know, it's not worth it, y'all. It's not worth it. Cause and I said in the live stream back then when I first got the Amazon gig back in Dallas. What goes around, so no comes around. Cause if that's all you're gonna do is bicker and, and go at it with one another. That's the way we, we got dealing with right now. We just had the Andre Brown Jr. shooting uh, by Sheriff, Sheriff deputies just a week ago. So now I want to add this up the road to the mix. I don't even know if this is going to make headlines, news headlines as it is. If it does, that's just another loss for us. And we talking about 
my own people in my own color. Black folks, African Americans. I'm not saying we're all not perfect, but hot damn. We just, we got to draw the line somewhere. That's for all nationalities. We got to draw the line somewhere. Like, enough is enough. Like, you can't. And again, like I told y'all about one well, of my coworkers from the uh, first contract that I was with for Amazon. Want to talk crazy and act a certain way. I'm professionally while on the job. Well, again, this is one of them. You're not being com- you're not being courteous to your fellow neighbors. And it's like, again, I know how that I know how that stuff feels. I know how it feels, y'all. This is we. So I see number yellow tape from over there. Now this yellow tape they've had previously last weekend or the weekend before that for as of the signs on the. And put signs on the uh, tree branch that's there saying no trespass or whatever, private property. Like, yeah, right. It's owned by the county. County sheriff can come there anytime, as far as, yeah, if they got a warrant, search warrant, or they have a respond to a call. In this case, this here that led to a, some whatever shootout. I don't know. But it's not always private property at the end of the day. You know, but all I'm saying is that's the only reason why they had the yellow tape there to begin with. But then after that particular party, they removed that yellow tape, the home or lease rent or whatever. But now with the deputies there, maybe they put the deputies put that yellow tape there. I don't know. But it's 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 wrapped around over there. So. But this is ridiculous, y'all. I mean, I just got the phone, my stepfather to wake him up in the middle of the night for nothing to tell him, like, like, no, this is just important. Like, I mean, he's like, well, what is that going to, like, oh, excuse me. I know it doesn't have nothing to do with us, but we just live right up the road from this nonsense. You know, things have not, things have, things have not been the same. Things have not been the same. Like I said, once again, since I've been back, really, we, we, we ran them out the May. It is May, officially May 1st. My birthday is what, two weeks on the 16th. The week after that, my copyright strike ends. And like I just told y'all, we're dealing with, and we're dealing with Mr. Brown Jr. Andrew Brown Jr. from out of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, that, Hardly ever gets talked about. I'm saying as far as in world news, but local news. Still wanting answers. But y'all, y'all, it's, it's on world news. Y'all didn't see it. Y'all didn't see it. But if y'all not familiar with Elizabeth City, real quick, I can tell you that I only been there one time 10 years ago. We my now I wouldn't say this portion for a different video as far as an aviation, but meeting a mentor or whatever here. In town of Smithfield local airport, and him showing me the ropes and having some guys that he knows out there uh, that does mechanical work, Elizabeth City State uh, aviation workshops, whatever. And I got the opportunity to go out there, and I had a good time. I have been back there since. Now to hear it on world news as is because of what we're dealing with as of today. So again, y'all please be careful because. <sighs> You see, I'm still experiencing <laughs> right off the road. Lucky I was not here when it all popped off. But still, it can happen at any given time. And y'all already know about Chicago. Chicago, my hometown, is still the same to this day. It's been like that. Not really originally since 2012. The chief keeping them blew it up like how it is today. No, Chicago has been like that for so long. It's just other people just... Are, are turning a blind eye to it as if they want to turn a blind eye to everything else. Oh, no, they don't want to turn a blind eye to everything else that's going on right now with, you know, George Floyd. I mean, uh, the cop, Shaven Chauvin, how you pronounce his name? Derek um, found guilty on it. But then talking about, you know, there could be an overturning in the case. Well, we got to wait and see what happens in the higher court, the higher supremacy of court house or whatever. Supreme Justice. <sighs> so we had 10 minutes. Like I said, 
like I said, I just want to real quick just tell y'all, be careful wherever you are. If you getting off work and you, wherever you are, I don't care. It's all 24 hours of the period, 365 on the calendar. Does it happen to you or anybody else? I'm going out this piece. Again, y'all be careful.